Uh, built from 1927 to 1929. Uh, opening day was June of 1929 and October of 1929 was, well, that was the stock market crash and, and really railroading and, and things like that well, was just slowed right down. Basically only people taking railroads were the hobos at the time. But World War II was the heyday of this building. That's where you see all the historic photos and people, just throngs of people taking taking the trains and that kind of thing. Uh, a lot of movie stars, things like that were, um, you know, uh, came through here and then after World War II, uh, well, planes got better, cars got better, and the New York State Thruway was put in, so that pretty much was uh, uh, slowed down passenger rail across the country. Okay. So, uh, as time went on, there was 230 trains a day in the 40s, 100 trains a day in the 50s, 50 trains a day in the 60s, to finally eight trains a day uh, of Amtrak and uh, the last train uh, left here in October 1979. Uh, the building uh, was purchased by a man uh, called Tony Fidelli, a real nice guy, uh, kept uh, good care of the building, opened it up to events, things like that. Uh, the city didn't, uh, the city of Buffalo did not appreciate the fact that he was able to buy the building very cheaply, but he maintained the building, paid his taxes, but basically, the city of Buffalo drove him out of the building through various means at the time and the administration at the time. So um, that's where the building was left wide open, uh, open to vandals, things like that. And the city even gave a guy by the name of Thomas Telesco uh, permission to, uh, to salvage the building. So um, up until 1991, this building was as nice as Grand Central and the same architects built the building. Uh, same, you can see the same, same ideas, things like that. Uh, but uh, as it fell into disrepair, uh, $60 million worth of damage was done to the building just by salvagers and things like that. So the Central Terminal uh, Restoration Corporation was formed in 1996. We purchased the building in 1997 and we took stewardship and ownership of the building since. So through a lot of uh, you know, volunteer hours, we're able to open up the building to visitors such as yourself and have events here and, and things like that. So, and now more recently, we were able to work with the state of New York and uh, we're promised uh, $5 million to do restoration of the concourse right where we're standing, put new windows in, things like that. And, uh, so we can have events for a little little longer in the year. So I mean, I know like that kind of is like a sort of a nationalized kind of passenger service. How did that kind of affect uh, cities like Buffalo and the Central Terminal? Well, you know, passenger rail across the country is, is really, you know, let's say the primary is, is aircraft. So, um, but to this day, <clears throat> excuse me, to this day, every Amtrak train across the state of New York goes right outside Central Terminal. Mm -hmm. So um, there's opportunities there. Uh, officials from Amtrak told me over the years uh, that uh, once the building is open, occupied, they'll put a stop back in. It's not going to be a train station anymore. It'll be a stop, but it won't be a train station. It's a commercial real estate development project.